Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few of my favorite baby lead weaning recipes that I have been making for Jackson. And if you don't know what that noise is, that is him making some animal noises in the background. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into the recipes, I thought that I would talk to you guys a little bit about his background as far as feeding and all of that stuff. So he is eight and a half months old now. We started him on solids around five months once the doctor gave us the go ahead and once we knew Matt could be home for it because I feel like introducing foods to your baby is such a fun little adventure and I wanted to make sure Matt was home to experience the first food experience. We have been doing a mixture of baby led weaning and baby food like spoon feeding. If you guys don't know what baby led weaning is, it's basically your kid feeds themselves. For us, there hasn't been an all or nothing approach to it. I wanted to do both. I love seeing him feed himself. He's great at it, but I also like love making baby food. It's, it's so fun for me. If you guys want to see like a video dedicated to our experience, feeding Jackson and all of that good stuff, Comment your questions down below and I can make a whole video on that if you guys are interested. So with all of that said, let's get into the recipes. So the first recipe we are going to make are these banana pancakes. I added blueberries to mine, but you can totally opt out of these or swap them out for a different type of fruit. So for this, you will need half a cup of oatmeal, one egg, and one banana. The ingredients are pretty minimal, which I love. So first you are going to add your banana to a bowl and mash it up. I just used a fork, which worked really well. And then you are going to add your egg and then stir that all together. Then you will add your half a cup of oats and stir again. And if you are going to add fruit, this is the time to do it. So I just added my blueberries and then I'm going to go ahead and heat up the stove. You can add coconut oil to your pan and then just spoon the batter in like you would pancakes. And once they're done on one side, go ahead and flip them over and let them cook on the other side and then you have your pancakes. Next, we are going to make these veggie fritters, which I love, I eat them, Matt eats them, and they're chalk full of vegetables. So you will need a half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, a half a cup of corn, two eggs, a half a bell pepper, two carrots, and one zucchini. First, you are going to chop up your bell peppers into tiny bite-sized pieces, and then you will grate your zucchini and your carrot over a large mixing bowl. Now, this mixture of the carrot and the zucchini is pretty wet, so it's very important that you get that excess water out. So put this mixture into like a thin type of dish towel and then wring it out over your sink as much as you can. It takes a little bit of muscle but you don't want a wet fritter. So once this mixture is nice and dried out, you can go ahead and add your corn, your Parmesan cheese, and your bell pepper. Then you are going to stir that all together, and then you will go ahead and add your two eggs to hold it all together. Once you've mixed that all together, go ahead and add your flour, and then mix that all up again. Then you're gonna go ahead and heat up your stove. You can use olive oil or coconut oil, whatever you want. And then you will just add the batter to the pan and then flatten them out, kind of like you would with pancakes. And then go ahead and flip those over so they're nice and golden brown on each side. And then your veggie fritters are done. Thank you. 
Next, we are going to make broccoli chicken nuggets. And my husband wanted to try these himself. For these, you will need a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, a half a cup of cornmeal, a head of broccoli, one egg, and one chicken breast. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees before you start on anything else. Today I'm using my baby cook to steam cook my chicken. This is like the easiest thing ever. You just add water, put your chicken in, hit a button, and in like 20 minutes it's done. You can go ahead and cook your chicken any way you like. This is just an easy way for me. So while your meat is cooking, go ahead and grate your head of broccoli into a nice large bowl, and then go ahead and add your Parmesan cheese and your cornmeal. Once your meat is done cooking, go ahead and add it to a blender or a food processor. I'm using my baby cook. Just use whatever you need to to blend it up into a nice puree that looks something like this. Next, you will add your chicken mixture to the rest of your ingredients along with your egg, and then you will go ahead and stir this all together. Then you can go ahead and start forming your chicken nuggets and place them onto a baking sheet. I put foil down and then I sprayed it with olive oil so they didn't stick. And then I popped them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration for your own baby led weaning experience and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you guys wanna see a video on my favorite recipes for baby food, like the purees, comment down below and I can do a whole video of that and how I use my baby cook. So, okay, now we're gonna go. See you in the next video.